Hello, my name is Becky Hayes. I'm 14 years old and I'm going to show you how to clean your belly button. Okay, so there's my belly bar there. What I'm going to do is always make sure you've washed your hands before you clean your belly button or before you even touch it. And what I've got is a warm, boiled cup of water. See that? I know it's got a pinch of table salt to clean it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the shot glass. What I'm going to do is tip it over the belly bar. Now this is why I've got a towel because obviously it's going to wet me. So I just shake the water around so it cleans it. Now I've had my belly button for fat done for five months. But I only changed it last week, so I'm not used to cleaning the Danga belly bar. So once the water's got all in there, you can take it off. I'm just going to get it hot. I'm going to do now, just going to get cotton wool. Like that. I don't know if you can see my belly bar because this can a bit rubbish, but sorry guys. Just as long as you know how to clean it, it doesn't get infected. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth that my belly bar has been infected four times, but every time it has been infected, I've just cleaned it more than I should. All you do is get, you dip the cotton bud in the shot glass and just wipe around the bar and on the bowl. Like so, and make sure you get a different cotton bud so it doesn't. And you do exactly the same procedure but on the bottom bar. So you're just gonna, because mine is just turning out to come nice now, it's still a bit pussy, but it's not as bad as it used to be, and it's healing up very well. But I advise you never to get your belly bars from. Like for example, Claire's access is because they will get infected. As I know, my friend got hers from there and it got infected. Always buy them from where you can also do them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some Savalon spray. So you can get this from England, it's called Savalon spray. But I think in um, California, America, I think it's called Saline Solution. I'm not so sure. So if it goes. And you lift the bar up. Like the bar, bar, bar like so. You might not be able to see me, but I'm so sorry. You just spray it on the bar. You spray it underneath to prevent any infection, really. Yeah, it protects against infection, treats cuts, and so on, so on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom bar now. Push the bar down on the top and spray the bottom to get a good clean in it. Lift it up. Now some people might disagree with me and not clean it like I do, but this is how I cleaned it since I got it done. And it's only been infected because one I went swimming and two I didn't clean it for a week. So some people may ask me, um, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt as long as they freeze it. If you free, if they freeze it, then it will not hurt one bit. It just tickles. The worst bit of when I had it done was probably when. Right. The worst bit when I had it done was when they froze it because the spray was so cold I couldn't breathe. But sometimes it depends on your pace of it because sometimes you don't freeze it and sometimes you have to tell up. Okay, so that's that done. What I'm gonna do is get cotton wool. Dip it in this. Give it a little dab in there so it's a bit wet, like so. And just go around the nice and all clean. And you just get a dry cotton wool, cotton wool even, sorry. And 
destroy it. Now, I will explain the demonstration how to change your belly bar. I'm just, sorry, I got it. There's my belly bar. You might not be able to see it properly, but I'm so sorry. My camera is very rubbish. So, yeah, it's like Queen Bear Bar. Bye.